With the launch of the Joseph C. Collapse DLC for Far Cry 6, we decided to dust off the unopened Far Cry 5 Collector's Edition and see what it has to offer. First, we'll have a look at the Collector's sets of pins that comes in a book form, kind of a case, representing Joseph's book with a magnetic tab. Inside, you will find a set of 8 pins from various elements taken from the game itself, like the Hope County logo and the Eden Dead symbol, as well as the game's title. Also available is the strategy guide from the game, pointing out the location of all the loots were true for the mission, as well as a nice section in the game's development and artwork. It also contains stats and details for all the weapons and vehicles in the game. Those kind of boots are great when you're looking for specific piece of equipment in the game. The what true are a bit tedious when it comes for the deaths and screenshots, but the boot itself is always a nice collectible item for a game, when well made. And this one is well made. The edition of Far Cry 5 includes the vinyl soundtrack of the game, a steel book, as well as the game itself. The art of the bots is pretty nice and uniquely created in partnership with the Mondo artist in line with the game aesthetic and feel. The vinyl itself comes in a plain black and pressed on both sides with the Eden's Gate sign in the middle. The same artwork from the packaging can be found on the steel book, designed by Jay Shaw, the creative director at Mondo, with once again the Eden's Dead symbol on the back. And inside, you will find a copy of the game. Looking now at the father's edition of the Far Cry 5 collector bots, you can see some nice artwork on each side of the bots, representing the Seed family, double exposed with elements of their various storylines. And at the back, you have a more traditional display of the edition content, including digital content and physical collectibles. Opening the box, the biggest element you will see is the Joseph Seed statue. Personally, I've never been a fan of statues in Collector Edition. I know it's kind of a standard, but not all of them are statement pieces. At the back, you will find all the other content, starting with the code to download the various parts, the CD soundtrack for those who still have a disc reader the game map, as well as the game itself, and the steel boot to showcase it. Looking at the downloadable content, it comes with various cosmetic and ammo. Nothing too exciting or then changing in itself, but hey, we'll take it. Looking at the steel boot, it comes with the Hope County logo in a nice blue shade in the front. Part of the county at war inside, and hidden state symbol at the back, which resumes perfectly the game setting. The map is substantially big and two-sided. One side is more like a poster of the same image found in the inside of the steel book. On the other side, you will find a map, emulating one of those tourist maps that you can find everywhere with local ads of restaurant and attraction on each side. This one has been mopped up with some in-game elements too, making it a nice prop to look at. There's not too many details or in-game location, but general spots are marked up. The soundtrack comes in a conventional cardboard sleeve, with the same artwork and colors as the steelbook. It contains 19 tracks from the game, and nowadays I find it difficult to appreciate it, with disc readers being more and more uncommon, even with digital version of the consoles. I feel it might be the last time we get one of them in the collector's edition. Then we have the game itself, with the cover art representing the Seed family and allies in a biblical setting, and at the back you get the usual game info. Nothing too incredible here. The Collector's Edition also came with a car air freshener. No side effect were detected from smelling the Bliss Flower Sandal. 
and it's just a funny filler to have added onto the collector edition. For the statue collectors out there, this one is well made and itself encompasses the vibe or energy of Jose Seed as the father. The art of the stained glass at the back is nicely representative of the game and it's an iconic pose for Joseph to be represented as. The quality is there and the aesthetic is in line with the game, which could be a nice addition for a statue collector. All in all, I like the Mondo Edition for its unicity and simplicity. And if you like vinyl records, you will like to have that piece as a collectible, especially with the unique artwork and the steelbook. The Photos Edition is nice if you collect statues. The map is a nice prop in itself and the rest is mostly fillers. But at least the quality is there and the various artworks on the boss are really cool for what it's worth. I hope you enjoyed that video and until next time, See ya.